means Pittenweem is located on the east coast of Fife in Scotland. The name derives from Pictish and Scottish Gaelic, which means the place of the caves. Until 1975, Pittenweem was also a royal borough, having been awarded the status by King James in 1541. In the Middle Ages, Pittenweem Priory was a small Augustian monastery linked to the Isle of May. It was built over the ancient sacred cave associated with St. Philan. The cave, recently fitted out as a chapel, is situated in Cove Wind, in Pittenweem, near our focal point. In the late 17th century, we saw a number of notorious witch hunts by the local minister of Pittenweem. The borough ravaged in debt and witchcraft was used as an excuse to improve the financial position by seizing the lands and assets of local women. The Church of Scotland building at the top of the High Street adjoined the Tollbooth, which was used to jail the Pittenweem witches. From around 2006, we gained access several times to the Tollbooth and carried out various experiments and tests with various Results. Noises, bumps and bangs were a key activity. Many people reported feeling uneasy, unhappy and even sightings of female and male figures have been reported. During audio sessions in the area around 2013, we also caught one of the best EVP recordings ever with a whispering voice replying to a question. When asked, can you see me, the chilling reply was, I can see you. Like many EVPs, this was not heard at the time, but was found during the analysis process. Are those accused witches still roaming the area? Perhaps the minister is scared to move on into the afterlife. Let's listen to the special EVP before moving on to our very brief audio session results as we continue our search for the energies associated with the Scottish Witch Trials. Can you see me? take to be accused of a witch back in those days? Nothing. Literally nothing. Right, okay. Uh, things that we would do day in, day out, talking to a cat. Yeah, effectively, we're witches, aren't we? We'd yeah, be witches. We'd, well, we'd, be, we'd be classed as witches for we'd be, we'd, we'd be burnt at the stake without a shadow of doubt. Yeah, any hesitation. No question. Was it a fear with the church? Were they scared or, or was it a lot of political it stuff been, going um, on? A lot. It was actually Mary Queen of Scots in 1563. She introduced the Witchcraft Act. Uh, there was a, a, an earlier Witchcraft Act in Scotland, but uh, Mary Queen of Scots, she came back from France as a Catholic to a Scotland that was going through the referendum. Right. So it was largely a Protestant country. Yeah. Um, obviously, Queen Mary wanted to bring back the Catholic faith. Right. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> so it was partly to, to try to quash the women. The women had new uh, 
um, rights under the Protestant faith. So they just didn't like it. There's always been a thing about females that have not liked it, the male, the male dominant yeah, society, yeah. And, and especially when it comes to churches. And Because I think if you go back to ancient Egypt, and at one point it, it was the woman and the male, actually the woman was above the male, and they, they proved that, and it changed at some point, and it become a more male dominated, like yeah, the religions yeah. and things coming forward. But apparently when it was the other way around, the planet was much better. The planet, you know, for the, the ruling of the people and that, and the, the woman, the female was always seen, you know, as above the male because they could give birth and things like that, and the, the whole, even in a spiritual sense as well. And I remember reading that, and I always wonder if it's maybe the Catholic Church coming forward were obviously scared of females. Yeah, so certainly didn't link the, the female role model, if you like. Yeah. Um, so. so females getting more motivation, more yeah. power, more... You know, More freedom, they wanted yeah. to, to crush them. Which, 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 which